फर्स्ट स्टोरेज क्लास दट इज मेमरी स्टोरेज क्लास लोकल और ऑटोमेटिक वेरिएबल्स ना हाउ डू हाउ डू पुट द आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लोकल और ऑटोमेटिक वेरिएबल्स बेसिकली यू आर सपोज्ड टू राइट अ फाइव पॉइंट आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इफ दे आस्क यू टू डिस्क्राइब अ स्पेसिफिक दिस स्टोरेज क्लास देन यू आर सपोज्ड टू पुट फाइव पॉइंट्स दैट इज द डेफिनेशन द स्कोप द लाइफ द इनिशियल वैल्यू एंड the keyword which is used i'll i'll say about this in the subsequent time let's first see what exactly mean by a local variable now let's take up a simple scenario assume that i have a main function and i have a function say f1 in this main i want to declare a variable as int a now answer these questions you can answer these questions virtually let's understand how would you have understood the previous function split when i say int a this a is used in this particular main suppose if i call a function f1 and in the later part if f1 in the later part if this f1 uses a variable a as a 20 will it be a valid instruction will it be valid yes you are true this is invalid why even though a has been declared but i can't set a as 20 in this f1 because this a is unknown to f1 why it is unknown even though there is a declaration since the area of declaration is within the main i'll say this a as a unknown variable for f1 so a is a now a variable which can be used only in this particular main hence we call this as a local variable so a is a local variable which is used only in this particular main but can't use can't be used in f1 suppose if i had defined a variable as int b in this particular f1 then can i use this particular b in this main suppose if i set b as a 1 will it be valid instruction no this is again invalid why because the variable b has got a visibility only in this particular f1 we call this as a local variable so when b is declared in f1 it becomes a specific variable for f1 when a is declared for main a becomes a specific variable for main a variable which is declared which is which can be used only for a specific function we call that as a local variable a variable which is declared or used only for a specific function is set to a local variable now this is also called as automatic variables why automatic why automatic because this variable is created at the beginning of main and destroyed automatically at the end of main a variable which is created automatically at the beginning of the main or beginning of a function destroyed automatically at the end of the function is said to be a automatic variable a is created as soon as main goes a is destroyed as soon as main ends b is created automatically when f1 starts and b gets destroyed as soon as f1 ends now question comes when i call f1 your a is it destroyed or is it there in the memory yes a is there in the memory but still it can't be used so here we'll have two different terms one is called as a life the other is called as scope or visibility now the life of a is still there when f1 is executed but your a loses its scope or visibility so a doesn't have what scope in f1 but a has got life in f1 b has got scope as well as life in f1 b does it have scope or life no you don't have this particular life or scope so definition is when a variable is declared for a specific function we call that as a local variable automatic variable it says that you can uh, a variable which is created automatically at the beginning of the function and destroyed automatically at the end of the function is said to be automatic variable right okay so life when a variable life starts when a variable life ends a variable life starts at the beginning of the function ends automatically at the end of the function scope or visibility only to the function in which the declaration appears if not associated any initial value this value is are always a garbage value now a contains a garbage value b contains a garbage value 
by default every variable is auto if not associated with any storage class so i can have a storage class as say a u t o auto i can declare variable as auto space int space a or even int b is declared even though there is no keyword by default this will have a keyword called as auto auto int b so we'll have a storage class called as auto by default for every variable so the keyword is auto and the initial value is garbage value now what are the terms which i spoke all these definitions have in place for you let's understand these terms definitions so the five points which are stated are definition scope or visibility life keyword and initial value let's first place the definition it says a variable that is created automatically when a function is function or a block is started and is restored automatically when the function or block ends is said to be automatic variable they are also called as local because they cannot be used outside the block or function in which the declaration appears scope or visibility within the function or the block in which the declaration appears life starts with the block or a function ends with the block or a function keyword is auto and initial value is garbage value right so you are supposed to put these five points as the answer for explanation of this particular storage class if you feel that i have done it faster definitely you can pause this video make a note of all these contents on a piece of paper so that you can refer it for the later stage now let's see an example to illustrate this particular storage class so an example to illustrate this particular storage class f1 so i have two examples one which illustrates with function and the other which illustrates with block i have p declared in main and a declared in f1 so a is a local variable for f1 and p is a local variable for main p cannot be used in f1 a cannot be used in main you will find a keyword called as auto with a but no keyword auto it doesn't mean that this is not having a square class this is again auto itself let's see with the block i'll have a block at this place i've declared p with a 10 outside the block i've declared one more p with a 3 within this block whenever i use p it will always give me value as 3 once i put this block inner p is going to be destroyed so at the end of this your p gets destroyed outside this your p will be still alive and this p will be always using a value called as 10 so the first storage class is local storage class explained with five points that is the definition life scope or visibility keyword and the initial value and then you can have any general example any example which you have done in the entire session of function chapter you can quote any example that will help us to understand the concepts of local variable that is the first storage class that is local or automatic variables thank you